Hello gents, it's Grud here, and today is very unfortunate because we don't have an English beer. We have a beer which is from Special Italy, Peroni! It says it's made in Italy, and please it says that, because at least it's not made in France. I hate France, because it's France, and because of Agincourt. But anyway, this is not, this is Italian, it's... Not English, but it's all right. And we're going to have to give it a taste. Right. Oh, pooey pants. I need to get my bottle opener. Here's the bottle opener. Here we go. Let's have a, let's open it up. It's luck. Oh. Smells bready, bready. Let's give it a little. You see, look at this. Look at this. Turn it there. <coughs> Sorry, gents. Just had an excellent dinner. Fish and chips. English dinner. Delicious. <sighs> right. Let's give it a sniff. Yeah, smells nice. Smells. Like barley rip a beer, really. It's a lager, lager. What does it say, actually? 330 ml bottle, 1.7 units, 5.1% alcohol. Right, gents. Smells quite nice. Let's give it a drink. But me, only a little burp there. <sighs> yeah. Smells nice, tastes nice. Yeah, it's not as good as, you know, an English beer. I prefer an English beer, it tastes good. It's really nice. It'd be nice on a cold, on a hot, warm day as it's nice and cold. You know, really good beer. Yeah, I'm liking this one. Just a shame it's not English. I love England, uh, especially Essex. You know, any beers made in Essex are the best. Romford, Malden. South End, Chelmsford, wherever it is, Saffron Walden, if it's in, if it's in Essex, Harlow, I like it. Yeah, but you know. <clears throat> tastes good, tastes good. Maybe to make it a bit more like Essex, we should put some tip tree jam in there, maybe. Tip tree jam or marmalade. But, you know, tastes good, tastes very nice. However, this is not a beer that you can have on St. George's Day. <clears throat> on St. George's Day, the only beer you can have is an ever. So, yeah, tastes nice, nice beer. Not Essex, not England. But it's a beer, it's a, it's a nice beer. Yeah. I am going to now write the beer. It's quite nice, quite nice. I'm going to rate this beer very highly, actually. It's very nice. <coughs> I'm going to rate this beer 70 out of 100, which is pretty good because, you know, 74 or 75, whatever, I don't know, Abbott and... and uh, John Smith, or was it 84, 85? I can't remember. But those were excellent beers. With Raymond, he was a good lad. I hope you like Raymond. Comment down below on that YouTube if you want to see Raymond again. Or another bloke. There's another bloke who wants to see me too. I can't remember his name. It's Ronald or Ronnie, something like that. I don't know if he's going to be any good. He might be an idiot. Might be a bit of a tosser. But, you know, Ryman's a good guy, nice bloke, lives just outside of ripping, you know, decent bloke. You know, I'm going to keep drinking this. <clears throat> it's quite good, really, to see something out of Italy, which is a wine, because all they make is Prosecco, which, you know, it's a woman's drink, really, isn't it? A woman's drink. I'm not a fan of ladies' drinks. Gin, wine, not for me, nor is any other thing really. I can tolerate whiskey, but the beer, 
That's where that's where life's at its best. <laughs> I'm a furbs again. All right, so there you go. This will be a very nice, taste bready, malty. You know, it's just it's just a good beer for when it's nice and warm outside. I feel to sit down with on a summer's afternoon. All right, gents. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the review. See you soon.